So we're here today to talk to you about how an innovative design is changing perceptions of solar living in America. The In Home, short for Indiana Home, was Purdue's entry into the 2011 U.S. Department of Energy Solar Decathlon. The Solar Decathlon is a competition that challenges teams from around the world to design, build, and operate solar power homes. Not only is that a cool thing in and of itself, but we actually get to let the public tour the homes for a 10-day period while they're in Washington, D.C. Now, Decathlon, as the name implies, there are 10 contests in the overall competition, including architecture, engineering, market appeal, affordability, and energy balance. All right, so as you can see, the house looks like a home you could find in any neighborhood in the country. It was built with all commercially available off-the-shelf components. Um, the home was designed to be user-friendly and not overbearing, so you don't have to be a techie or a trekkie like Tiffany to live in this house. It's designed for everyone. If you were to walk inside the house, you'd notice it was comfortable with two full-size bedrooms, a large bathroom with dual sinks, full-scale appliances, and large open living spaces. We designed the house this way to accommodate many of us Americans who are used to living in these types of homes. It was our philosophy in the design phase that if we want people to start building and buying solar-powered homes in this country, we have to give the American people something they're already used to living in, something they don't have to sacrifice for, plus that power plant on the roof. So when you build a home of this caliber, where do you begin? Well, you start with the low-hanging fruit. And when I say low-hanging fruit, what I mean is there are a number of things that you can incorporate into the design of your home before you even start considering solar panels. One of the bigger ones would probably be better insulation, but one of the easier ones that anyone in this room can do would be low wattage, or excuse me, high efficiency, low wattage lighting. Purchasing Energy Star appliances would be the next step to drastically reducing energy consumption in the home. But if you're lucky enough to build your own home from scratch, you could actually incorporate passive design techniques like the in-home, such as natural daylighting or passive air ventilation. These initial steps can drastically reduce energy consumption, thus leading to fewer solar panels being needed to power it. So once you've picked that low-hanging fruit, it's time to move on to loftier goals, such as producing your own electricity. Being that this is the solar decathlon, the in-home was designed to be net zero, meaning it produced as much or more energy than the users consume over the course of the year. So contrary to popular belief, we do get a little bit of sun here in Indiana. Actually, I think it's like 80 outside right now. So this misconception about having to live in California or Arizona to live in a solar-powered house isn't necessarily true. Actually, a modestly sized array of eight and a half kilowatts was enough to power the in-home located right here in Indiana. Don't be fooled though, this array isn't gonna power just any home. It's going to power an energy efficient one like Lee was talking about earlier when it's operated responsibly. Okay, so how many of you own a home? How many of you live in a home? How about that? <laughs> how many of you live in something other than a tent? I should see everybody's hand, right? Okay. <laughs> Leave your hand in the air if, you're, if yours is solar powered. I don't see I any. I don't see any. Okay, so <laughs> y'all might believe the common misconception that a solar powered home is constructed differently than a traditional home. That's not entirely true. In fact, the in-home was designed and built by all Purdue students, many of which had little or no construction experience at all. So what is the difference between a solar powered home and a traditional home? Well, quite frankly, there's solar panels on it. Much like a traditional home, the design of the in-home was supposed to be easily replicable so that designers, builders, and buyers alike could relate to it and profit from it. All right, so we built this beautiful home that we all loved and came really attached to. And right as soon as we were finished here at Purdue, we had to tear it apart in pieces, put it on trucks, and take it to Washington for the competition. So while in DC, the team was focused on two things, obviously winning and educating the public on the reality of solar living. During the week of public tours, over 18,000 people toured the inside of the in-home and saw that that futuristic home of tomorrow actually looks like something they're used to living in today. What's more, we often heard from people that they could see themselves living in this solar-powered home. It could actually fit in one of their neighborhoods. Being that this was the response we were looking for, we more or less considered ourselves winners at that point. We'd spread the word and accomplished our mission. Now, I have to mention, the home did actually come in last place in the architecture contest, but we kind of figured this was coming with the design that we had. Well, fortunately, we still felt that the home spoke to the masses, once again, the builders, the developers, the designers. What was seen as a lack of imagination or innovation actually was the innovative design of our home. It was a solar-powered house that was highly efficient, that had a simplistic and conventional design. Now, not to brag at all, but to put the cherry on top, not only did we reach the masses, but we came in second place overall in the entire competition. 
So we actually couldn't have done it without all of you. Yeah. <laughs> so why aren't people putting solar panels in their houses? Why not? Well, the reality is everybody thinks that everybody's going to jump on the green bandwagon and get on the sustain sustainability movement. But the reality is everybody sees giant green dollar signs with every single purchase, be it an iPhone to a solar panel. The in-home was kind of unique because it bucked this convention and balanced cost and performance to prove that attractive and affordable housing is a reality and quite possibly the future of solar housing. Now this home isn't futuristic. It doesn't exist in a once upon a time in a far off land or a parallel universe. It actually exists right here, right now, actually about five miles straight that way. <laughs> now, in fact, everything in the home was commercially available and is readily available in any city in America. So why are we telling you this? Why do you care that we did super good at some competition? Well, I'm gonna tell you, residential and commercial buildings account for about 73% of all electricity used in the United States. Whether you agree with global warming or not, it is an inarguable fact that often humans negatively affect the natural environment. Being that a lot of this energy comes from the burning of fossil fuels, um, we know that they emit carbon, which often can contribute to greenhouse gas problems. So I've got a question for you. How much carbon does a solar panel emit on a daily basis? Zero, you got, yay, okay. We got some smart people in here. None, okay, the, the sun's out there all day, every day, and all that we have to do is collect it. Furthermore, the sun's gonna outlast all of our lives, all of human life, so there's never that threat of depletion. So what do we want you to take from the in-home back to all of your homes? Well, if you're not ready to buy a solar array for your house, that's okay. Implementing initial steps to make your home more efficient is going to instantly save you money and instantly reduce your energy consumption. On a national scale, solar home designs focused on ease of constructability and market appeal are going to increase the existence of these types of homes in the United States. If we can all start to move in this direction together, it will be easier to see a future where solar homes are more commonplace. Now I hope something you have something to take with you just something you can think of for the rest of your life from our speech, because I know that we definitely have something we're going to take with us. That's our logo. Thank you. So we got tattoos. <laughs> Thank you.